Now in question number eight, we are given two sets N, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and L, which is A, B, and C. Now statement 29 is, suppose we arrange 12 elements in a line such that all three letters appear consecutively in any order. The number of such arrangements is less than factorial 10 into five. Now we have to arrange 12 elements. Out of these 12, these three elements, A, B, and C, they must occur together. So we'll use string method, we'll tie them. So now we have 10 elements and we can arrange these 10 elements in factorial 10 ways. Now these three elements, we can arrange them among themselves in factorial three ways. So total number of such arrangements will be six into factorial 10, which is greater than five into factorial 10. That means statement 29 is incorrect. Now statement number 30 is more than half functions from N to L have elements B in their range. So we have defined functions from N to L. So this is one, two, three, up to nine. And here we have A, B, and C. Now we have to find number of functions from N to L having the element B in their range. Now, if we find total number of functions, then total number of functions from N to L, L, B, for each element, we have three choices. So for all the nine elements, we have three into three into three, nine times choices. So total number of functions will be three to the power nine, which is 81 into 81 into three, 19,683 functions. Now we'll find number of functions from N to L in which B is in its range. So total number of such functions will be total functions, which is three to the power nine minus all those functions which do not have B in their range. So for all the elements, we have only two choices, either A or C. So total number of such functions will be two to the power nine. And this is 19683 minus 512. Now this is 19 something, which is much greater than half the value of total functions. So that means this statement 30 is correct. Now 31 is number of one to one functions from L to N is less than 512. Now here we are defining functions from L to N. So we have A, B, C and N we have nine elements from one to nine. Now total number of one one functions will be given by 9P3 and which is 987. The value is 504, which is less than 512. That means the statement 31 is also correct. Now statement 32 is number of functions from N to L that do not map consecutive numbers to consecutive letters is greater than 512. So here we have nine elements, one, two, three, up to nine. And here we have the set L having three elements, A, B, and C. Now here we have two cases. Case one, if all the elements that are mapped to B, so total number of such functions, it is just one as it is a constant function or this second case, when none of the element is mapped with B. Because if any element is mapped with B, then for its neighbor, we cannot choose A or C. So for each element, we have only two choices, A and C. So total number of such functions will be two to the power nine, which is 512. So number of such functions is 513, which is greater than 512. That means this statement 32 is also correct. So the correct statements are 30, 31 and 32.